Thanks for joining me tonight for Easy Watercolour Landscape Tutorial number six. So tonight we're just going to be looking at doing a really easy but really powerful way of doing some mountainous landscapes. Uh, I'm going to use this two inch hate brush, but you could use, I don't have any here tonight, but you could use um, some sponges. I really need to go and get some more, but you can find them at an art supply store there. Um, and they uh, are great for doing this type of painting. I just haven't done this style of painting for a fair while and so I haven't gone out and got some more sponges, but you could use, definitely use them. So again, you could put in a sketch, but I'm just going to do some form of uh, shape mountain. So all I'm going to do is just uh, tilt it, tilt the page up a bit. I'm going to load up with some um, cobalt blue. I'm going to load up with some cobalt blue. Uh, and then I'm just going to come in with some form of interesting, um, you know, mountainous landscape. And with a uh, with a sponge, you would be able to um, you would be able to get some harder edges than this. So let's just get something like this. That's light red that I'm just putting in there. And then all I'm going to do is just use the spray bottle. Directing it down. And as you can see here, the rivulets have just stopped here. So I, if I wanted that to be different, I want it to just run evenly, then I have to wet the page completely or choose not to. I get a tissue. And mop this up. Of course you don't need to use a, a spray bottle. I could have just used a brush. But the nice thing about the spray bottle is that you just have water running down off the page. And I just dried that a bit too much at the bottom there. Um, you have water running down the page and that brings the pigment with it in a way that I just don't think a, a, a brush could do. So you can maybe see here that there's a, a bit of a pool of water here at the bottom. So I'll just and I'll soak that up. I'll just leave that on a bowl for a second so just so it's just still a bit tilted I've just got a hair there that I want to pick up there we go and if I didn't want pigment to be all the way at the bottom then I could you know rinse that out a bit or I, if I wanted a little bit more uh, washed out there then I could do that with the spray bottle and then again mop up again before it gets before it sits there for too long. But again you could use whatever colours you want. I just used cobalt blue uh, and light red and I've kept it tilted slightly just so the water just keeps making its way down the page and if I wanted to I could I could uh, come along and lift out some lights and put in some more darks and give some more detail or not and just I think you know the, the watercolor is just beautiful and soft and you can see it graduating down the page here without really me having to do an awful lot. A 
you can see here I just went in a little bit with the tissue too much and um, that's not really ideal. I'll just wet that a bit, but if I wet that too much, then that will flood onto the page. So that's the thing about watercolour is that you've just got to get used to the water moving out of the brush onto the page and then off the page and onto the brush. Anyway, that's the, uh, the end of that demonstration. And of course, if I wanted to, I could just put a, a bird in just off this. Right, I'll, I'll dry this. So thanks for joining me tonight for Easy Watercolour Landscape tutorial number six, where we just really very simply with a two inch hake brush uh, and, a, and a one inch hake brush, we just brought in the mountain, put in with the cobalt blue, put in the light red, and then use the spray bottle with the page tilted up. And then at the end, we just brought in a, a, a bird or an eagle or something that's on the updraft off the mountain, which they often do. So obviously if I was painting this, I could, I could sign this now, but thanks for joining me in this tutorial. I think watercolor can produce some beautiful graduated washes if you just know what to do and let it do it on the page. And you could use this effect, not just in mountains, but in lots of other styles of paintings that you are using. So thanks for joining me. Thanks again to all my subscribers. Of course, if you want to know about next week's video, then press the subscribe and the bell button and I'll see you next week for the next video. Thanks for joining me. See you later. Good night.